greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. Project Dadum fucked around and went global. Oh shit, Project Dadum fucked around and went global. Listen here. America's number one commodity is poverty. America's number one commodity is motherfucking poverty. I had just gotten out of jail, right? And right when I got out of jail, part of my probation stipulations was I had to have a job. And so one of the people that say, man, we hire people who have felonies and who have uh, convictions is Goodwill. And Goodwill, they have this, this great campaign ad is that they're for disadvantaged folks and handicapped folks. And so I go work at Goodwill. And now I get this firsthand see that what the operation is. Goodwill brings in truckloads of donated goods. And they bring them into a warehouse. They sort them out. Sometimes they sort them out. Sometimes they don't. And then they have a whole bunch of people. They pay $7.75 because they say these people, they deserve an opportunity to work. And they're putting price tags on things they just got for free and roll that shit onto the floor. And so I'm thinking in my head, Goodwill is supposed to be for poor folk, right? So they can come in and get a decent pair of clothes and not be dirty. This is what I'm thinking in my mind. It's supposed to be a service. It's supposed to be this great good. And so I'm over there just pricing and pricing. And it's a pair of Nikes. And I like shoes. I'm a shoe head. I'm very familiar with the prices of shoes. And it's just a regular ass pair of Nikes too, right? If you bought them brand new, they might be $45. And so I'm like, man, I'm about to put like 5 or $6 on these bad boys. Some little kid would be extremely happy, right? A good pair of shoes for like 6 bucks. Mom be happy. Kid be happy. Everybody be fucking happy. Goodwill just got these shits for free. That's $6 profit, right? From zero, okay? I'm like, this is a beautiful thing. This is a wonderful system. And so I'm just pricing away, and I'm feeling good about myself. And so this fucking lady comes, and she starts fucking screaming at me and all types of sideways talking shit. What the fuck you think you doing? And I'm like, hold on, wait, I thought this was a workplace. But this is literally how she's talking to me, extremely aggressive. And so I'm like, I just smile. I'm like, man, I think I'm doing a wonderful job. Can you explain to me what I'm doing wrong? Why these shoes cost six dollars? They should at least be nineteen ninety nine. Oh, they they in good condition. You could put these for like twenty two. And I'm like confused. I'm like, why would I sell a pair of used shoes for twenty two dollars? And so, I disregard this lady on that item. I think I marked it up to like ten dollars or something, right? And I proceed to do my thing. And so by the end of the day, she had gotten so mad at me, she had taken all of my items and sent them back to the bin to have them repriced. And then so I go do my research and I find out that Goodwill is a 5013C charitable or uh, a nonprofit organization. And so everything they get is for free, but they're also a multi-billion dollar organization and they pay their employees $7.75 off of things they get for free. And I'm like, God damn, if you go to any major city, there are more Goodwills than Walmarts. I swear to goodness, check it out. Do your motherfucking research. And I'm like, these niggas is making a billion dollars on the idea of poverty. Poor people need a job. And so we're going to make a billion dollars off these poor folks selling fucking donated goods. Man, this is a fucking Ponzi scheme built on poor folk. But poor folk won't even acknowledge the fact that they are poor. Goddamn Project Daddy in the motherfucking building. Hands up, hands up to the goddamn ceiling. The greatest American alive. You, not me. I'm a piece of shit. And I'm trying to figure out why the fuck the American people allow the American government and big business to continue to treat them like pieces of shit. I'm going to give you a little piece of motherfucking, some valuable information. Leasing labor is better than slavery economically. Leasing labor is better than slavery economically. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? I love my job. I love to go to work. You have no negotiating power, but coming from the part of the business, looking at you, they're like, hell. If this nigga was my slave, I got to feed this motherfucker. I got to clothe this motherfucker. If this nigga gets sick, I got I, I to pay for this dude. The overhead is, is substantial. But if I can lease this some bitch, I ain't got to do shit except for throw some change at his ass and send him home. The nigga said, well, I ain't got no place to stay. Well, well, I hope you come back tomorrow and you save a couple of checks and maybe you can get yourself a place to stay. There are companies right now in America. When you go and you sign up for a job, when you go apply at Walmart, Upon your uh, hiring process, they're going to give you a food stamp application directly because they're telling you to your face that working here, nigga, you can't feed yourself. Now, uh, go stock aisle nine. 
this is a crazy motherfucker, and we're allowing these things to happen. And they say, man, why the fuck should I care about some poor folk? And that's the thing about America. Even poor people hate poor people. Even poor people hate poor people. My baby mama hate me because I'm poor. And I'd be like, baby mama, don't you know you're poor too? But in her mind, I'm supposed to fight like a motherfucker to defeat poverty. And so that my family can ex escape this generational curse of poverty, yes? And I agree. But have you ever seen a, a, a mouse in one of those glue traps? Have you ever seen one of them shits? I'm not telling you that it's impossible to make it to the upper echelon of American society. That's why it's called the top 1%. But the other 99% of these motherfuckers is down here drowning. And I'm like, man, I just wish. Now, I'm Project Daddy, so I live in the motherfucking projects. And so you have little mice running around. He's a little bitch is scary and shit, right? So I throw out the goddamn glue trap. When you see a mouse in the glue trap, that nigga will flip and flip and flip and try his best to get the fuck out of that goddamn glue trap to no avail. That bitch is stuck. And so if you're in America and you make less than $120,000 a year, you're in the motherfucking mouse trap. You're in this glue trap and you're fucking squirming and you're fighting like a motherfucker. Maybe just maybe when I pay off this goddamn mortgage, maybe when I pay off this motherfucking car, if I get a part time job, if I invest in the stock market, maybe if I do this over here and I goddamn tax myself and I fucking almost explode because I'm so stressed the fuck out that I can't breathe in this motherfucking capitalist society. When you realize you're in the motherfucking mousetrap, they read your goddamn eulogy, huh? And the epitaph said this motherfucking little mouse tried as hard as he could to get out the motherfucking mousetrap and died doing so. God damn. You're fighting hard as hell, America. And I salute you. Fucking cheers to you. I thank you for fighting as hard as you possibly can. But maybe, just maybe, if all these little scary and fucking mice would work together, then we could beat this goddamn mousetrap. But y'all niggas hate being fucking mice. You won't even acknowledge the fact that you are some motherfucking mice. You won't even acknowledge the fact you're in the goddamn mousetrap. God damn, can you hear the motherfucking rumble of freedom? Niggas, you listening. It's a motherfucking jungle out here. And these niggas is wolves and tigers and lions. And y'all won't even work together to get out this shit, boy. And all I'm saying is, you're the greatest American alive. And the only way that you can stop these people from taking advantage of you is if you stand together in solidarity. They're like, solidarity? Hell yes. Poor folk fucking unite. Admit that you, hey, this is one like the 12-step program, right? You got to admit first that you got a goddamn problem. Hello, my name is Project Daddy, and I am economically challenged. I'm fighting like a motherfucker, and I just can't kick it. You hear me? There's no way that I'm climbing up this goddamn ladder, and that's why I'm in this motherfucking poor man support group. How the fuck do we beat the fucking system? Come here. The greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.